Hey guys, it's me and today we're going to be doing my skincare routine. Um, a few people have messaged me from the day in the life vlog and yeah, that's it. The day in the life vlog and some vlogs on mine and Emma's channel saying, can you do your skincare routine? So I'm going to do my skincare routine. Um, so I've just got out the shower, I've washed my hair and used my serum for my hair on the tips of my hair. Um, so I start off with some toner on my face. Um, what this is, is it's um, simple. I think it's simple. It's not on the bottle now because this is a travel bottle. Um, but I think this is simple toner. And I just, it really, really makes my face feel, you know, nice and hydrated. And it just gives me a glow, you know? Um, then I do a few drops of vitamin C serum. Um, I just do three drops. Oh, the bottle's in the way. I just do three drops of this. This hydrates your skin. Also makes your skin feel good. And it gets some vitamin C in. Um, I think that's the one that comes from the sun. And I don't get a lot of sun anymore because of England. No offense to England. They do get some sun, but not a lot. Um, and then I do the simple regenerating age resisting eye cream. I just put two dots over there. And then I just rub that in. This, um, I think it's to help with bags under your eyes. And I've got like really sensitive eyes, so simple goes really well with sensitive skin, guys. Just a warning. This is actually the first time I am using this moisturizer. Oh, it looks fancy. Um, the one I usually use is the Ghost Moisturizer, but I cannot find that anywhere here in the Netherlands. Oh, that came off easily. So, this is the Skin Academy Pure Daily Moisturizer. It's the first time I'm using it, so I'll let you guys know if it's... I can definitely feel that it's moisturizing, so that's good. No burning yet. So by the looks of it, it'll be good for sensitive skin. Ooh. Don't go near your eyes with it. Do not go near your eyes with this moisturizer. Feels, it's, it's okay. Um, I know you shouldn't touch your face, but, oh God, there's a mosquito with me right there. Why would a mosquito do that? Like, that's just so mean. There's no reason to bite me on my face. On my legs, arms, whatever. That's fine. But my face. Mm -mm. It's not fine. I use this every day in the shower. Well, the exfoliating one I use in England. Um, oh, the exfoliating one I use in the Netherlands. I use the Blackhead Scrub, Clean and Clear. I love Clean and Clear, just because I used to use it in South Africa and. It worked for me so so this was my morning routine um i'll show you guys my nightly routine in a second so let's go and welcome to night alicia so first i start off with makeup remover 
because I've got a little bit of mascara on because we went for a walk today. So, just gonna I use the Micellar Clear Garnier Skin Active. And I just get rid of the mascara and because it's waterproof after rub for like an hour. And this is also quite good for sensitive skin because it doesn't burn. So now I brush my teeth. In the morning, I didn't record me brushing my teeth, but I did brush my teeth before actually recording. But I forgot to record me actually brushing my teeth. But now I am brushing my teeth. Also, sorry if the volume's gone a lot softer. It's just my mom sleeping in the room next door and I don't really want to wake up. So. So now that I've brushed my teeth, I use a simple moisturizing facial wash. I don't use this in the morning because I shower in the mornings. So I use my exfoliating daily wash. But I just wash my face with this. It says moisturizing, but it's not very moisturizing. But it is helpful for sensitive skin. I know I keep stressing about sensitive skin, but I know people with sensitive skin sometimes use things with sensitive skin and it doesn't actually, it's not for sensitive skin. Even though it says sensitive skin and I do have very sensitive skin. So, I put the soap all in my face. I just wet this face cloth. Things girls do to have clear skin. I mean, guys do it too. But the things people do for clear skin, unbelievable. Next, I use the same toner as I used this morning. I put three dots on just because this bottle is a lot harder to use than the other one. The one that it actually comes in. Tone of rub into face. Next, I use the eye cream that I used this morning. Do not put too much on. This that I put on now is way too much. Then I use an Olay anti wrinkle cream because it's the night cream, firm and lift. Because when I sing, I've gotten into the habit of doing that with my face, which gives really bad lines. 
and it was starting to actually show. So I'm gonna get that wrinkles out of all this. So I'm just gonna. I use anti wrinkle cream for that exact reason, and I've stopped. I then rub that in to get rid of those wrinkles. Look at that. The wrinkles. Ugh. It does work, I will say that. It really does work. And if you have sensitive skin, it will burn. I forgot my serum. Guys, I usually put my serum on before my toner. You know, it's because I'm re after my toner. It's because I'm recording. That's why I'm messing it up. Now this is the mess up everything. I can't put a liquid on top of the cream because that just doesn't even make sense. And then I go ahead and slap some moisturizer on. Get that nice hydrated face. That's very weird for me, moisturizer. Also, I've got like a nice setup of my skincare things here. And then lastly, I get castor oil, just normal castor oil. And I put a drop on my spoolie, I think that's what it's called. And just brush my eyebrows for the long brow, you know. Um, then I do my lashes with another drop of this for the long lashes which as some of you may know I have no eyelashes and this cost oil does work not even for my eyebrows but my eyebrows need to get waxed but I've not been able to because Corona my dad cannot wax eyebrows to save his life and neither can my mom <laughs> but she can do nails and these are my nails that she has done and they're pretty so so that was my nightly and daily skincare routine thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below, you know, just say hello, hi, I've been here, I've watched this, thanks. And I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.